Hey internet, welcome to another episode of Guy Test Stuff Out. Actually scratch that, there is no such video series on this channel. This is a video of me trying out an external bathtub strainer. After getting tired of using strainers that go inside the bathtub sink, I decided to get an external strainer. Primarily due to the fact internal strainers cause the bathtub sink to drain much much slower. I've already tried a handful of different internal strainers and they all had the same issue of having the water drain really slow. In fact, after 5 minutes of a shower, the entire tub is already flooded with about a foot's height and 15 minutes, the water is almost at my knees. It was quite annoying to deal with and basically gave me a time limit of about 5 minutes per shower. I've read external strainers don't flood as much, so I decided to give this one a try since it's one of the higher rated ones on Amazon with a couple of thousand reviews already. And I have to say, it was worth the buy. So I removed the internal strainer. Don't mind the bathtub paint being all super peeled. I'm just a YouTuber with 6,000 subs after all, so I ain't rolling in dollars. Anyways, this external strainer just goes right on top of the bathtub sink. It doesn't work like a suction cup or anything, but the weighted top and its silicone-like material is supposed to hold it in place as water comes down. At least that's how the theory goes. Well, I've been in the shower for about 10 minutes now. This strainer is already a winner because it's not flooding. If this was one of the internal strainers I used in the past, the backside would have been flooded a couple of inches by now, and as you can see, it's completely dry. It's basically a win for me because now I can shower for as long as I want without the bathtub flooding. Now let's see if this external strainer actually catches stuff, primarily hair. And it does. This is what was caught after about a couple of days use. So yes, it does catch hair for reals and even a bit of the peeled off bathtub paint. Basically, this was the perfect buy for me, but if I had to have one complaint, I wish it would have had some sort of sticky feature at the bottom so it holds onto the tub better. I mean it holds while the water is running, but after a week or so of daily use, the strainer will move a little bit and I would have to move it back so it covers the drain entirely. It's a minor complaint, but not a deal breaker for me, considering how much better it is from previous strainers I've used. I'd rather move it a centimeter every three days so that it aligns with the sink as opposed to having a five minute time limit on showers before the tub floods. And that's it. If you're like me and have been using those cheap little strainers that go inside the sink and end up literally knee deep in bath water after every shower, try one of these. Plus it's easier to clean because it's on the outside. You don't need to use your finger to dig up the internal strainer, which is gross. Link for this particular one will be in the description, and no, I'm not getting anything out of this. I'll use a generic Amazon link. If you see my other videos, I'm literally just a guy who makes random videos. I don't gain anything from this, and my only purpose is to basically inform the public of my positive experience using an external strainer over an internal one. If you know of an even better strainer than this, particularly one that does have some feature that allows it to stick onto the tub, leave it in the comments, because I want to buy that. Press that like button if you found this video useful, or even better, subscribe so I can get my sub count up. And thanks for watching.